All right, so I tagged well the deep firewall out there, as you can see. And I made those opening as I showed in the last video for the gas pedal and brake pedal space. The opening for the chain, for the car's chain drive, driven for those who still haven't seen my other videos. I just tag welded the firewall on the upper side of that frame. And even those sides here, as you can see, I have to tag weld here there. I made a hole here for the steering rod. Uh, of course, the steering, the steering wall rod is gonna be cut, I think, here. And this one will be fit in here. It fits already, it's made. Here, as you can see, thinner here, just to fit exactly here. And then here, I'm gonna make that articulation thing here. one yeah, it's gonna be here and I already mounted the bearing actually the bearing has a 20 millimeter hole and the rod is 20 millimeter but it don't fit I just grind this like crazy on the inside and then I had to hit it with a hammer and, you know that was pain in the ass so I just mounted it here right now with such weldings. Another rod is gonna or a bracket is gonna be mounted here. Yeah. And you're gonna see the steering wheel is gonna as you know here I showed that already in my steering wheel building video how I made this one. I welded that not inside the rod yeah. and this is how the steering wheel is gonna be yep and as you can see The steering works right now. I'm very happy with that. Oh yeah, I drove that thing from the outside in. through all those doors until here without any help or pushing to the rear reverse or something. It was always forward and the steering was perfect, you know. I'm very pretty, very happy with that. So I still have to bring my camera right here, my real camera camcorder and a little tripod that I can put it somewhere and show you how I drive the thing. I'm pretty impressed and pretty happy and pretty, you know, I can't describe all that, yeah, how the thing works. Yeah, the only problem I have now is that I discovered that, let me go downside. I made a chain tensioner, or how to call it. It's the DIY thing that didn't work, but it's fixable, I think. Yeah, here. Here's my thing. Okay. When the chain is sitting here, it stops, you know, it makes a lot of noise, you know. The chain is just you know, touching here only those teeth and it's not working, but so I moved it to the side and it works. So all what I have to do now is getting this thing in gear again, you know, I have to grease it or I don't know, I have to look what is wrong, why it is not working. Yeah. Now I have to go home, my wife is making a nice dinner and see you next time thanks for watching and support and everything this is my 16th part of my hot rod cart or car building 
the 400 cc or 390 cc engine predator engine and chain drive and a quad modified motor to the primary you know i made the gearbox and the motor, quad motor to get my reverse and forward gear and bicycle front suspension a handmade wheels that i hope they hold they seems to be holding but i don't know i'll have to check that later Ready. The next step would be making the rear tail of the body. My problem is how I'm gonna work on the corners to make them round. I don't want them to look like a box or chest or the color here. Yeah. Really, really happy with what I did right now. And I love my steering, I love everything. There is a little bit of play here. So but this is not the problem of my system. Check this out. The problem is here, in the gear, in the steering gear, no? Okay, let's check I got that out, maybe, and yeah, really happy.